Hello everyone, welcome back to some more scratches. So we've woken up in the middle of the night again and I think we're a bit like, oh no, they're scary sounds. But I think because it's all got to do with the mask, ooh, we're gonna have to go to the gallery and have a look at the mask again and be like, oh please, Mr. Mask, please be, you know, in a good place, not disappeared. Because I'm guessing that it's gonna disappear and it's gonna like reappear behind us when we try and leave. Because that's how horror games work. Oh yes, it's gone. That was completely unexpected. Um, I mean, yes. See, I knew that we missed something over here because there was too many letters. Um, well, too many pieces of paper. So we've got to read this to scary music now. Um, please, I sound like mad, uh, but there's a reason behind this. The mask, uh, the mask I told you about, um, it's the source of all my suffering. Um, I didn't take the mask by appropriate means. And so now there's a wrath against me. I'm cursed. Over a year ago, I witnessed horrible violence. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking when I took it. It was just a vicious streak of greed. It represents evil. And I took it. And now I must face the consequences. Um, if I take some more time to investigate this, I might even go back to South Africa for help. But the damage is already done. And I believe it's getting worse as days goes by. Every time I walk past the gallery, I can hear some incessant odd chatter. Stop it, phone. Um, as if something was being plotted inside. And those voices, Christopher, they seem to be angry. Please come and help me. Oh, they kind of like how we just asked Jerry for help. Anyway, let's move this mic a bit closer to me because I forgot I moved it away. And watch as the mask jumps out. Oh. Let's face it, we knew it was going to happen. It's a horror game. Once again, I was awakened during the bizarre dream by those scratching sounds. Okay, so we know they come from downstairs. Now that we're awake, awake, do we want to have a look at the gallery room again? And be like, we're just going to check that the mask is actually still there. That's what I think. And then I think after that we need to check the basement if this doesn't work. Whoops, that's not what I meant. So in here. Come on. Yes, the mask is still here. Um, okay. I don't know how there was enough light to read that time, but there wasn't before because it was night time and I just tried to read it there. Um, so let's try the basement. Hello? Unless I feel like I can go to bed again? Now that we're all like A okay, the mask's still there. No, the scratching's still there. I have to figure out, not until I figure out where the scratching sound's coming from. So that's probably the basement. Oh, I could have just gone down the other stairs, but um, oh well. So I'll go down to the basement and get ourselves some scratches. It's too dark to see anything. Well, Let me guess, it's going to come from under here. String covering the concrete. What? I didn't really want to crawl in. Come on, let's get through it as quickly as possible. Oh, okay. That'll be the Blackwood child. Let's get out. That'll be the Blackwood child. Didn't really die. I can't open my inventory, so this is like purposeful blackness. Let's get out. That was definitely the Blackwood child, I think. I think I would quite like to phone Jerry now. I gathered all the strength to leave the basement. 
I barely gathered the strength of the basement. Last drop of oil said the lamp had been consumed. I was too confused to think straight and decided almost against my will to return to bed. Really? I mean, I'm going to listen to you because that's how you progress the story. Um, but I kind of wanted to phone Jerry and wake him up and be like, dude, I'm terrified. Please come now. Please come now. Please come now, Jerry. Please. But uh, no, I'm definitely a listener to what they say because that's the only way to progress in this game. But yeah, went back to bed. And Monday, October 14th. Third and final day, said Blackburn Manor began with an odd feeling of expectation. Um, I managed to pull myself together and focus on finding out exactly what happened inside this place. Okay. But first of all, to phone Jerry. Because that is what you always have to do and ask Jerry. Maybe, ooh, I'll be this way. Maybe ask Jerry to do some research. It's incredibly cold inside the house now. Oh, the fire is already set up over here. It's the only fire that's been set up. Um, matches. There we go. Now can we call Jerry? I would like to speak to Jerry. It's me. The ghost hunter. Any contact with the other world yet? Actually, I'm not sure. Jerry, I'm definitely not alone in this house. What are you talking about? Last night I saw something down below. It was moving. I wasn't dreaming and I'm not making this up. Are you sure it wasn't a mutant rat? Definitely no rat. Mm. I'm calling the police. No, no, no. Not just yet. Really? Michael, for Christ's sake. You could have a burglar inside the house. Well, he'd have gone by now. Burglar, Jerry. It's much more interesting than that. And I want to figure this out by myself. Have you taken leave of your senses? Just promise me you won't call anyone. I can do this on my own. Whatever. Just call me if you need any help. I'm driving there today. Right. Bye. So that means you won't be there by the phone. Can I call Barbara and see what the letter said? I remember that Barbara said she would take Monday off. Okay. Um, um. Well, I mean, what do you want me to do now? Maybe I wrote something in my diary about what I'm going to do. Um, I should probably race out the house. The day in South Black Manor. The rain stopped. Oh, the rain stopped. Um. Right, so we, we know we can't open the mausoleum around the back, but we have a key that we haven't used, and there's a key lock around here. Um, I'm guessing in here we are going to get something that we can use to open the mausoleum. This key? Yes. Yes! Smell of aged oils infecting barn like garage. Okay, that was a nice little video. Can I... What's this? Small crate was sitting near the bicycle. No, it wasn't the bicycle I was looking at. There. Um... Can I take the axe, please? I'd be scared. I'd take the axe. I'd also take some firewood in, if I'm honest, for the fire. Right. Lots of various items. Now that toolbox the file I seem to have. Ah. Toolbox. Does it? I don't even know what I just took. I said a few useful things. Whoops, no. Oh, oh, I do want the toolbox. Okay. That's probably everything in the toolbox. What did I pick up? Whoops. Uh, I picked up generic screwdriver and... Pliers! The pliers will help me, I think, get into the mausoleum, which I think would be where the actual scary stuff is. I think that was all that was in here. Maybe? Whoa, classic. I didn't feel like very close. 
want to get very close to it. Something's about to jump out from inside. That's a strange way to feel about a car, really. Right, let's go back in. And let's go to the back of the house. The best way will be this one. This way. Come on. Come on. Then we just keep going. Just keep hitting straight on. And then use the pliers. I don't know what the screwdriver's for, but uh, we've got the pliers sorted. Cold shiver and damaged minds entered the decaying crypt. The foul smell of rotting flesh seemed to have persisted through the years. Really? Right, so there's... <laughs> I seriously considered what I was about to do, but my curiosity got the better of me. Whoever that was felt terror across his face. I decided to leave it alone. Curiously enough, this coffin was completely empty. Hmm, so we've got an empty coffin. Couldn't imagine the purpose of grating in the floor. <laughs> Obviously, nobody down there was in need of fresh air. I'm sorry, but let's go down the stairs. It's very dark in here. The coffin was half opened. I was horrified to glimpse the remains of a dead cat in it. Strange. Um, several coffins, believing to ancestors of the family. Seeing one dead body seems to be enough for me. Really? Is this all there is down here? Most plugs are too badly eroded to make out what they said. Really? But. You know, it's some better shape than the rest. It was too dark in this particular spot to make, make out what the plaque read. Can I? I don't have any paper to do it on. Um, I was going to get a rubbing to read in the light. I know I've run out of oil. Um, I didn't find anything down here, though. But was something... There are no candles in the vicinity. Yes, we established that two days ago. I'm worried something bad's going to happen to me. After leaving the crypt, I stopped to think for a few seconds. I only found one body inside. But there were two plaques. Something was evidently out of place here. Yes. It is. But do you want me to go back in? I don't think so. I definitely think that James isn't dead. Not James, his son. I do not think the sun is dead. He's not a very good cleaner of the house, but um, we haven't used the grinder yet. I don't know what the screwdriver's for. Actually, I wonder if this will help. Um, do do do. Despite the murder, I should know that Catherine is dead for sure, but James, the plot is thickening. Maybe back to the newspapers. I'm gonna see if I can call Jerry. Because that is what you should always do. Very first thing after you've done any single little bit of progress is call Jerry. Um, especially if there's not 100%. So like, you should definitely go do this now. Speak for Jerry. Yes? Hi, Jerry. Yes, I'm fine, and I think I know the identity of my intruder. Tell me, who is it? James Blackwood. The Blackwood person? Michael, are you serious? That the ghost of the murderer is roaming the house? I'm not talking about his ghost, Jerry. I'm talking about him. What the heck do you mean? I mean James Blackwood himself, alive, in this house. What? How is that possible? It makes sense. 
After murdering his wife and realizing what he has done, he begs for help to Christopher Milton, who fakes his death. Milton? The previous owner? Michael, you're losing your mind. Even if he managed to hide himself, how did he survive all this time? Milton has been missing for years. Good point, but I'm sure a desperate man like Blackwood would have found a way. Yes, by turning into a ghost. Wait a minute. Yeah, I have it right here. James Blackwood passed away on June 1963. Nice little date for our uh, newspapers. Jerry, just listen to me. I know I'm right. There's only Mrs. Blackwood's body in the crypt. His is missing. Oh, God, Michael. You've really gone out of your mind. Digging into coffins, what next? Desecrating the chapel? <laughs> Whatever it takes to solve this mystery. You can only find stories like this in books. Precisely why I'm beginning to wonder about your sanity. You'll see. Oh, that was scary. Well, we can go upstairs now. What time is it? 10 a.m. Really, it only took me an hour to do digging around in the crypt. So if Jerry's coming, he really should set off soon. Um, that's not what the newspapers are. I know exactly where they are. I don't know why I'm confused about where to go. And let's have a look at the newspapers for June. The article wasn't as informative as I had hoped, but there was a phone number scribbled on the page. I see. So let's call Bailey. Come on, let's get to the phone. So many clicks away. Uh, I think I'd rather go down this way to get there. It's slightly quicker with less doors. Um, phone, right here. I dialed another number. Oh god, you mean I have to remember it? expecting me to remember it. Is it is it in here? Um going to phone Mr. Bailey. Really article for, oh my gosh, I did not realise that you were expecting me to um remember that number. Well let's go get it then. You remembered every other phone number. Grab it. Let's get my whiteboard pen at the ready. It's oh one six six five six five two one seven. The ones on this are weird. Very weird. Let's all go to the phone. I can't believe it's very strange that this is the one number you have to write down, and the rest of them you just you don't. It's very strange. Okay. No, I, I, I do want this. Dialed another number. It is. Oh, one, six, six, five, six, five, two, one, seven. Oh, it's ringing. Are you Mr. William Bailey? That's me. And you are? 
Yes, my name is Michael Arthaid. I'm a journalist for a local newspaper in Rothbury. That's not true. I see. And what's this all about? Well, you're the former police chief of this town, aren't you? Indeed. I served many years ago. And you were once in charge of a famous, or should I say, infamous case here? Oh, bloody hell. Don't tell me this is about James Blackwood. It is. Well, yes. I'm writing a story for my newspaper. Um, the most famous police cases of Northumberland. Have you got any idea how many times I've talked about this? <coughs> Go to your nearest library. I'm sure you'll find plenty of information about Blackwood there. Um... He's sick of it. I don't think that'll help, and I don't think that'll help. I don't think either of them will help. This case is fascinating. I, I couldn't stand reading a few boring notes someone wrote 15 years ago. I'm very passionate about my work, sir, and I need the best details I can get. Details. Please. Details. What is it you want to know? Well, in the first place, what did Ava Mariani see exactly? Blackwood was automatically deemed guilty. He was found digging his wife's son. No, he wasn't digging Why his wife, he's digging his wife's grave. Never appear before a jury. When you're someone as renowned and famed as James Blackwood was, you can pretty much avoid the authorities. However, you can't avoid justice. And justice was brought upon James Blackwood. Justice? How? What happened to Dr. Christopher Milton? How should I know? You bet your life that slimy worm was up to Oh, Thomas. so he didn't like... I couldn't hmm. prove it, though I spent years investigating him. A shame we couldn't implicate him as much as James Blackwood. Are you saying he could have had something to do with the murder? Blackwood and Milton were very intimate. Milton did the impossible to aid his friend, and even clear his name after he died. And was ever determined the cause of death of Catherine Blackwood? Yes, partly. Mrs. Mariani managed to see her throat was slit open. Ripped, she would say. It must have been horrible for the poor girl. Still, everything sounds so vague, as if something were missing. Are you questioning my performance on this case, son? No. <coughs> no, 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 sir, not at all. I'm just trying to figure this out. Like, why a proper autopsy was never done. An autopsy to whom? Please, sir, this is very important to me, and I could really use your help. I'm trying to fit all the pieces of this mystery together. Mystery? <coughs> what mystery? You must be one of those people that just love splitting hairs, don't you? I don't think I understand, sir. There's always a reason behind a murder. There's always a reason behind a murder. Nobody has ever found out why Blackwood did what he did. Psychopaths don't need any reasons. And James Blackwood turned into one, precisely. <sighs> mm. Well then, tell me how Blackwood reacted when you pulled his wife from beneath the ground. I beg your pardon? I mean Catherine Blackwood's body when you dug in the garden of the manor. Does Catherine's but body still out there? Are you telling you never actually retrieved the body? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Now, if you don't mind. But, but wait, th this doesn't make any sense. Stop wasting my time, damn it. I was enjoying my retirement until you had the brilliant idea of calling me. I don't want to hear anything else about this case ever again. Please, Mr. Bailey, don't...
Um, Jerry? Jerry, I made the police angry. Please come help me. He must already be driving here. Um, what does my handy book say? What about... It's still buried in the garden. What else did it say? What about the Blackwood? What about Blackwood then? Maybe Blackwood's the one in the coffin. It's 11 a.m. Are we gonna go out to the garden then? Going to the garden seems like a good idea now. Um, this way. To the garden, to the garden. And hopefully don't get murdered. Right, so if she saw it from a window, it must be relatively close. Oh, 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 oh. What if I use the screwdriver to pry the plaque off the, the you know, the one that, that is readable? If I, if I use the screwdriver to, to pull the plaque off so I can read it in the light. Screwdriver. Um, taking the plaque with me seemed like a good idea, but its screws are practically fused to the stone. So the pliers? wasn't useful. Um, I didn't need to write on that. Uh, oil at first. Um, use the claw and the hammer. Use the boring tool. Use the knife. I, spent, I could have spent years trying to remove the plaque like that. Um, Use the tin lid? Yes, it would be. Screws are practically fused to the stone. Does that mean I can't take it with me? Hmm. Can I light a ma No, I just wanted to light a match so I could just quickly read what it said. That's all I wanted. Um, I mean... I just wanted to check which block what it was. Um, right, I'm going to figure out how to get this plaque off. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to end the episode here, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Okay, so while I've been looking around again, I found this number down here for the bank. I've written it down. I'm going to try calling it. Um, I get the feeling that all these phone calls where you've got to write down um, extra numbers might be optional so you can find out my story. I don't know if this ending has diff if this game has different endings, but it might based on what you do that. So I figure I might as well try calling that. And then I'll end the episode because I'm just stuck and I need a break. Unless this gives me any clues. In fact, even if this does give me some clues, I might need just a break anyway. Um, right, 0191 is a North East number. Durham. In fact, one nine one. Maybe I should try calling my old number where I used to live ages ago. I'll do that off camera. <laughs> I don't want anyone bothering anyone. Two nine four one four four. It's ringing. Good day, the National Bank of Northumberland. Robert Blake speaking. Hello, Robert. I need some help. 
Um, I'm going to ask about James Blackwood. It's about James Thomas Blackwood. Do you have a customer called that? I'm sorry, sir. I can't give you that kind of information. Um, I told him I was Dr. My Milton. My name is Christopher Milton, a renowned doctor and good friend of the Blackwood family, and I demand some respect. It, all, all right, sir. Please, just hold on for a few moments. You must have heard the name ah, yes. somewhere. I have a customer listed as James Blackwood here. Um, any recent activities? Because we know he put money in, but we want to know if he's still alive Good. and if he's still running. I need to know about any recent banking activity in this account. What, uh, what kind of banking activity, sir? Well, you tell me. Any withdrawals, payments? Look, sir, I'm really sorry, but I can only give that information to Mr. Blackwood himself. So that means the account is still active? Well, yeah. <clears throat> it means I can't give you this information, sir. You said your name was... Um, I won't waste your time anymore. Good day. And when they trace back the call, it comes back to this house. So he's still active. Um, and there's nothing you need to do that. So I'm still stuck. But I found out he's probably still alive, for sure. So um, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.